Okay, now that you know what's a private cloud, what's a public cloud, what's a hybrid cloud, you also know what's a infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Well, you may have several questions by now. The questions may be, well, if I create a server in the cloud, who's responsible for it? Is it the cloud provider or is it me? If I am using Gmail and if I lose my emails, who is responsible? I uploaded quite a lot of data in platform as a service in my database. Who is responsible for it? What if my data gets compromised? What if my data gets hacked? Who is responsible for it? In this lecture, you will understand the responsibility and ownership of cloud provider and what's your responsibility and we'll use the analogy of consuming a pizza. Now there are several ways in which you can consume a pizza or get a pizza for yourself when you're hungry. First box that you see is where you will be making your own pizza that is in-house made pizza. Now you have a lot of responsibilities out there if you want to make a pizza it's a heavy duty task. You're responsible for the toppings, the pizza dough, the oven, making sure that the electricity is there, gas is there, the kitchen utensils are there. So you've got to have all the ingredients in place. It's quite a lot of responsibility in cooking something at home. As opposed to, well, you go out to the market, pick up the things that are required. Like you go and pick up the pizza dough, and then you pick up the toppings, etc. You pick up all of those things, and then once you reach home, you assemble them together and put them in the oven. Well, your pizza is ready in some time. You have very less responsibility there because you have just given all that responsibility to the ingredient provider, could be Walmart or Target or wherever you may want to pick up the things from. Well, you don't have to cook a whole, whole lot of things in, in, in the second case where we refer to as kitchen as a service. In the third case, the third box, where you say that, hey, you know, I don't want to cook, I have no mood, so you're going to just order your pizza. You just call your favorite pizza provider, and then they get the pizza for you. You're not responsible for the ones in green, which is kitchen, gas, oven, pizza dough. It's not your responsibility at all, because the favorite pizza guy, they are the ones who will be creating the pizza for you. But once it arrives at your home, you are responsible for few things right you gotta decorate it you gotta have a dining table a place to sit and eat and all that in the last section which is pizza as a service so you do nothing you drive to the place order your pizza from Giordano's <laughs> or then get your pizza delivered to your desk and then you consume it and pay the bill you're not responsible for cooking the pizza or, or the toppings or pizza dough or oven so when you are dine in then you're not responsible for anything right the different ways and we'll use this analogy to understand what's your responsibility in uh, kitchen as a service as opposed to walk in and bake as opposed to pizza as a service right and let's see how we can compare it with each of these like on-prem and infrastructure and platform and software as a service well on your premise it's as good as cooking the pizza or making the pizza at your home. That's a lot of responsibility, right? Similarly, you have a lot of responsibility when you think about provisioning something in your office. So you want to make everything in your office, you want to host your application in your premise, then you're responsible in each of those layers, right from the networking layer all the way to the top application layer. What kind of uh, network connectivity do you want to have? Is it straight cable or fiber optics or a cross cable? What kind of storage? Well, is it SAN, NAS or DAS? Do you want to contact IBM or Dell or HP for the servers? What kind of virtualization model do you want to go for? Type 1 or Type 2? Should you go for Hyper-V or VMware? What kind of operating systems are your application supporting? Linux or Windows? If it's Windows, what flavor? And then if it's Linux, CentOS, Ubuntu, Red Hat, which one? Well, there's a lot of thinking that goes behind provisioning the infrastructure on your premise and that also is directly proportional to the amount of time that you will invest. So remember the three key things that I told as to why we go to the cloud. Capex, cutting down on the Capex, cutting down on the operational expenditure and time to market.
on-premise infrastructure just takes down a lot of time and a lot of investments hence the need to move to cloud so in in your premise you are 100 percent responsible for every layer in every entity let's talk about infrastructure as service what's your responsibility well you know that in infrastructure as service you create servers let's say and your responsibility starts right from the moment you've created a server what's the hardware on which my virtual machine is hosted that's that's something we don't care and it's not my responsibility what's the virtualization layer or the underlying virtualization layer are they using kvms or para virtualization are they using hyper v or vmware is something that i'm not at all concerned about as a cloud user when i create a server in the cloud it will also create a hard disk for me what kind of storage is the backend using is it a san is it iSCSI or DAS or NAS? Well, let's not worry about it. Networking. How about uh, the cross cables or straight cables or fiber optics? Well, it's, it's not our concern at all. But your responsibility starts from the operating system layer, the ones in the blue, which is operating system. So once the operating system is installed, you install the patches. You do the server hardening and you as cloud user will be installing the antivirus you will be updating the definitions of the antivirus you will be opening the right set of firewall rules so that right set of people can connect to it so those are the responsibilities that you have what kind of applications will be downloaded on the machine and installed server hardening procedures security protocols that's your responsibility so the ones in the blue in infrastructure as a service segment is your responsibility once in the green is cloud providers responsibility in the screenshot you see managed by Microsoft but it could be any provider it could be Google it could be um, it holds true for any cloud provider like Amazon as well platform as a service a platform as a service is you understand that it's like more like a databases or anything that runs in the back end so developers do not have to focus on the back end activities now when we think about such entities like databases hosting the data on the database is the platform as a service administrator or the application developers responsibility what's in the back end networking storage servers virtualization operating system is not my responsibility at all right and when we think about data hosting the right kind of data securing the data encrypting the data and then also ensuring the data is backed up at regular times is your responsibility as a cloud user what kind of applications are connecting to my database that is also your responsibility as a cloud user in software as a service we do not have any responsibility the entire section is in green networking storage servers virtualization all the way up to the top to the applications layer we have no responsibility so think about Google Gmail services or Microsoft Office 365 services or ServiceNow services we are responsible for our internet connectivity and ensuring that we don't share credentials or passwords with anybody right so you don't give away your Gmail uh, credentials to anybody you keep it confidential that's all but you do not have to worry about what's their electricity bill what kind of hardware they have in the back end what kind of operating systems are they running in the back end how many people they have what kind of manpower they have in the back end this is not our responsibility well to to give you an overview of this we are responsible for our data but keep in mind ultimately it's the customer's responsibility to protect the data to ensure that the data is confidential to ensure that the data has integrity and data has availability you know, when we design systems in the cloud we always think about design for failure and design for security always have highly available systems and always have highly confidential information protected by multiple layers of defense